Hi, I'm Derek Pitts, Chief Astronomer at the Franklin Institute Science Museum and also guest talent here for WHYY's Sky Talk program here on 91FM. Today we're going to build a solar projection device that we can use to project an image of the Sun. This is going to be very helpful for things like the transit of Venus and other solar events. All we need is a manila folder. You see I've already cut it in half. A 3 inch by 3 inch square of tin foil a pair of scissors, some uh, transparent tape, and a nail about this size will be just fine. So let's proceed. First what we have to do is we have to cut a hole in this manila folder. And that hole can be about an inch or two inches square. So let's get started with that. We'll simply take the foil, put it over the hole, make sure it completely covers the hole, and then we just tape that foil down. We want to make sure that the foil is secure. The next thing we have to do is we have to make a hole in the aluminum foil. And for this we need either a four penny nail or we can use a one and a half inch roofing nail will be just fine. All we need to do is pierce the aluminum foil with the nail. So I'll turn like this so you see how I do it. I'll go right in the center and just poke a small hole just like that. That's all that's needed. Now the way this works is this becomes a pinhole camera. Sunlight will fall through the hole, come through the hole, and then the way we actually work it is like this. Holding this card toward the sun, we take the second card and hold it right underneath the first card so that it falls in the shadow of the card created by the sun. The hole in the aluminum foil will allow a small bit of sunlight to come through. That small dot of sunlight will project onto the card below in the shadow of the upper card. On that small image of the sun, you may be able to see the small dot of Venus crossing across the face of the sun. But the really good thing about this is that you're always doing this while looking at the card and not looking directly at the sun. In fact, the best way to do this is to hold the card so that you have your back to the sun and you can then adjust the projection of the image on the second card. We've created a pinhole camera that allows us to see the sun. It also works very well for seeing solar eclipses.